What's up guys? It's your girl River and I am back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi my name is River. It's very nice to meet you. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. Doesn't matter how you feel about the video, we all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. And... For my subscribers who have been requesting more Crimson Cure content, uh, the inevitable happened and she is now on, uh, she was interviewed by Lapeef. So we have some content that we can actually talk about together. So um, without further ado, you guys already know how I like to do it. I like to get right into the video. So let's see what this conversation um, is talking about. Yes, and, yes, okay. your first question. Okay. okay. Women are filing for divorce, in my opinion, more than anything, because they don't think marriages work. Mm. They think they get into these marriages and it's going to be a Disney show the whole way through. Yeah. And everything's going to be, and she doesn't have to do anything. She just has to be right here. And that's enough. And she should be enough. And it doesn't work like that. When they get into these relationships and understand that in order to, con to be a wife, you have to continue to meet the needs of your husband, yeah. not just enough to get the proposal and get married. That's actually not the end of it. The real work begins after the wedding, not before. Yeah, because a lot of women, um, so, okay, so yes, why women file for divorce more? I know that in, in a lot of conversations that we've, um, that I've reacted to, we do hear, um, you know, that the percentages of women who get divorces is higher, like the woman leaving the man than the man leaving the woman. And I do agree with that. I do agree that there is that bait and switch where you know everything, how to get a man, you can get a man, you can get a man to be, uh, to propose to you, you can get a man to marry you, but can you do the work? Can you stand the rain? Okay? Can you stand the rain? So, um, I do agree with that. I think a lot of people do show their representative, um, but if that's not the real you, it's going to wear off. So, I agree. I agree. So once you get that wedding, then comes the actual marriage where you have to actually do that work as a woman. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a lot of these modern women out here don't like that work. They don't like all of the emotional work that they have to do. They're part of that marriage. They can, they can pinpoint what he's got to do. But <laughs> when it right. comes to what they've got to do, as women, I think that becomes overwhelming to them. They get bored with that. They don't like that. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I, I'm, uh, we, we just can't. I just can't, girl. You know, we just can't get along. Like, I'm just not feeling his vibe no more. And then divorce. Mm -hmm. So wait, 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 wait. So Crimson, so answer me these questions. A couple different questions. Why is the number one reason why people get divorced money? A. And then why is the majority of women leading with provision and protection for what it is that they're looking for when it comes to men? They don't, they don't say love. They don't say emotion. They don't say romance. They don't say desire. And as a matter of fact, as women age, the, 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 the ranking by which they place that love, romance, desire, emotional connection, all that other type of stuff falls way down on the list compared to their uh, desire to be provided and protected for which closely aligns with the idea why women are, are hypergamous in the first place. That's a good question. Women have... That's a good question. That's a good question because, I mean, I mean, I think that there's two... Obviously, there's different types of women, right? But I think that, um, yeah, the first thing that you hear women say um, is that, you know, he has to be able to provide for her. She has to have, you know, he has to have money. He has to have this and that and all that kind of stuff. But I think also that a lot of women say that stuff also because it's trendy or because, like, that's what society tells them to say. But ultimately, like, women want that fairy tale, right? Like, they want that relationship, that love, that this, that, that. And I agree with what she said about the fact that, like, yeah, they don't, they're not willing to do, I mean... Modern women are not, not willing to work for anything at all. So they're definitely not willing to work um, with, you know, a relationship or a partner or do inner work or anything like that. No, like they're willing to possibly work, you know, at a job, but they're not willing to do that work uh, intimately. So 
Uh, I'm, I'm liking this kind of, you know, seesaw that they're going to have going on. Let's see what they say. A, a fantasy world that they live in, mostly. Mm -hmm. Do women want to be provided for? Do we like security? Do we like the security that a man with means has? Sure. All women like that. Mm -hmm. Getting divorced because of money usually means I'm going to get divorced and I'm going to take what money he has because if he's broke, you don't have to worry about that problem. But if he has money, then she's going to be like, oh, okay, well, I can get something out of this once I'm bored with what's going on. Is he providing consistently? Most of the time, yeah. Men are providing consistently. And if he's really doing, if he's really doing the thing, his provision, if they got married when he was younger, is actually increasing as he gets older because his, whatever he's building, whatever he's doing in terms of provision and in terms of finances is probably growing. Mm -hmm. So they're probably getting better in that sense. But where they're degrading is the internal thing. Not the money thing. That's almost a smoke screen. That's almost cap. Yeah. I'm just going to put it like that. That's almost cap for a lot of women. Well, it was the money. and it was, if, if she's arguing about money and he got money, that means she, it's not being distributed the way she thinks it should be. It's oh, not flowing the way to, to her the way she thinks it should be flowing. I have a question I, for you. I Nancy. would have to... Go ahead, go ahead. I think, sorry, I think I'm saying sorry to you guys, like as if I'm like literally talking with them. But um, I think that one thing, too, um, is that like, yeah, like women, once again, there's different types of women. Some women get married for the bag. Like, let's just be real. Like some women see the bag, they get it, they stay in it for a little while and then they're out because they know that they're going to get some of that. Right. So uh, so I think that there's different facets to this this question of why women may file more there's so many different reasons as to why question my question is uh like to find a happy medium here could it be that this post was that the woman had a fantasy about like you said provision and money that she had this fantasy about the lifestyle that she was going to have the money that she was going to be able to enjoy and it didn't turn out that way and that's why because it still is a fantasy that she had right the well, reason I why I say what I say, that's true. the reason why I say what I say is because I found that the more successful that a man becomes throughout his marriage. So let's take somebody like me that got married when I was 22 years old mm -hmm. and I'm 39 now and I've been married for 17 years. Right. I found that the more successful that I've become, the less amount of time that I have to give towards whatever on a daily basis. Right. But we are more connected and in love than we've ever been before. I may spend less time with her, but the time that I spend is more meaningful. And the options that we have to do what it is that we want to do is significantly greater. So when we do spend time with each other on a daily basis, when we do, even if we go out and I bring my laptop with me, we in, we incredibly connected. We hold arms, we hold hands, we loving and we kissing. I used to never even show public displays of affection out in life. Now I'm in a what? space and we in a space to where right, I never used to hold hands or none of that. Now we in a space to where it's roses and puppy love and all of this stuff and I would largely tie that to my ability to be able to free up um, and div divest myself from the stress and the rigors of everyday life that normal people will have to endure. That's a good point. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Um... Before I get into what is a good point, um, the fact that he said that about his life with his wife, I think that's also because obviously before you had anything, before Anton had anything, she was there. So she's been a part of that building process. So a lot of those decisions that you come home and you might, you know, pillow talk with your wife and she's seeing you, you know, with a dream, with a vision, with a plan and she's supporting you with it. And she's like, yeah, babe, go, go, go. And then you grow with that. It, it creates this uh, bond that links you guys together because of so many different avenues. Now, also, I agree with what he's about to say about how people who are in a different tax bracket, right? They have a lot more issues because if, okay, like if life is hard already, like if they're already having like financial issues, if they're having like, um, 
different kind of issues, you know, trying to keep the lights on, trying to keep the food on the table, trying to, you know, take care of the kids, trying to make sure that they have everything, all their necessities that they can ha- possibly have. Plus, they have, like, cheating issues and stuff like that. Yeah, the, the problems are going to multiply. Like, the problems are going to be exponentially greater because there's stress all around. There's stress in the relationship. They're going to argue. They nag. Uh, they're frustrated because they're working so hard and they're trying to create this situation um, with each other, but they're not able to do that because of the fact that they don't have the funds to be able to do that. They can't hang out. They can't go to dinner. They can't uh, go on vacation. They can't. So it just creates this, this stress that, yeah, inevitably it, it, you know, pressure bursts the pipe. So I, I, I see where he's going with that and I do agree with it. And that they got to worry about living paycheck to paycheck and all of this other type of stuff. So it doesn't align or compute with me, even though I'm more busy than I've ever been, but at the same time, we're less stressed and she's more free flowing and her ability to be able to move throughout the day. And this is, this is a similar situation. And we have, you know, I have married parties over here all the time. I've said, I put it on my Instagram. It's the same thing with other couples that I know. Mm. We all are kind of living and flowing without any kind of problems. And although the men work extremely hard, the women are incredibly happy because the time that we have and the ability to divest ourselves from the stresses that regular people that live paycheck to paycheck endure through every day, it's not the same. Right. Mm. Anybody else want to chime in or had a question? Well, I was I was going to ask you this, Anton. Do you think largely, do you think the fact that, um, I know Kevin Sands has been talking a lot about um, um, women being like the first man to imprint on a woman, right? Do you think that plays a part? I know Crimson brought up the fact that, uh, you know, uh, the man or the couple that gets married young. Right. And Mm -hmm. so do you think the fact that as you guys have grown older together, um, the fact that you were um, your wife's, you know, really first and only imprint, do you think that plays a part in why y'all get along so good? And and also the second part to that is, do you think that a woman who has already been? Yes. Yes. Your first question. Okay. So, guys, obviously, if you're new to this channel, um, I just have to say it. My, you know. A ones, day ones, my subscribers already know. I don't watch any video beforehand. I literally watch it right in front of you guys and give you guys my honest opinion. So I love that everybody touched on the same exact things that I was saying. Um, love that. Love that for me. <laughs> um, but also, I think that I like this conversation. I love the conversation and the dialogue that Crimson and Anton had. And I feel like they were both extremely right about these points. Um And because they were both right, it definitely explains why the numbers of women getting, like, women are are the ones that file would be more because there's so many different women with so many different um, situations that they're in that they're both absolutely right. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. So make sure you guys leave a comment. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you're not already and hit that notification bell. I do post a video every single day, um, but the time varies. So if you hit the bell, it's just, it's just going to notify you as soon as I post. Um, also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. It is in the description box below, um, just in case you're ever wondering about it. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so very much, and I thank you guys for watching. Love you.